हेलो इंजीनियर्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू सिविल निर्माण आई गॉट लॉट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट ऑन मेकिंग मोर वीडियोस ऑन द डिज़ाइन पैरामीटर सो वी हैव थॉट टू प्रोवाइड यू मोर ऑफ द सिमिलर एग्जांपल्स थ्रू द सैम्पल स्मॉल सैम्पल प्रॉब्लम सो दैट यू विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट लिटिल बिट मोर इन इलाबरेट वे इन डिफरेंट कंडीशन राइट सो जस्ट टू गिव यू मॉर क्लैरिटी ऑन द एल वाई एल जेड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द अनसपोर्टेड लैन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर सैम्पल ट्रस्ट मॉडल ऑल राइट जस्ट फॉर योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट इज़ अ सिंपल ट्रस्ट मॉडल विथ थर्टी फीट लेंथ राइट इट हैज अ फ्यू वर्टिकल स्ट्रट लेट मी जस्ट गिव यू अ थ्री डी व्यू ऑफ दिस right so it has few strut segments uh, inside this part and each segment is divided uh, with the 7.5 feet right the middle length is uh, almost it's uh, i guess 15 feet right few loads are applied over here in structure analysis unsupported length uh, is a very important uh, key parameter that you need to understand okay especially when considering the buckling part S but uh, let's first understand what is that unsupported length okay so basically any unsupported length is the length of a member between two points where it is laterally restrained okay if a member lacks support or let's say uh, it if a member lacks proper restraints so it can buckle more easily okay so that is the unsupported length now let's understand this through this particular truss segment see now look at this truss model this particular bottom cord is visible to you right now let me just show you over here so ultimately member 20 to 23 right this particular segment is provided the bottom cord the entire bottom cord is segmented by the ties and struts within the plane of the truss right this is your plane of the truss if i talk vertical y y plane or i can say the xy plane so in the xy plane <coughs> the bottom cord is segmented by ties and strut within the plane of truss and this means that the segment length 7.5 feet naturally represents the unsupported length for the in plane bending right i hope you understand the in plane bending it means that my truss will bend in the same xy plane okay let me just show you pro post processing mode for the better understanding okay uh, if i i just give you clarity see this is the in plane right if my truss bend laterally uh, that is in the other direction that will be the other plane right now we are talking about the in plane part okay so what i want to convey over here is see the segment length uh, this is 7.5 correctly each part is 7.5 meter so the bottom cord is broke uh, with these strut elements right so there is no need to define lz manually over here basically stad will assume uh, this particular segment length by default right so the truss is bending uh, about this x y in the x y plane so this is my lz right and it is tied with vertical strut so ultimately that length is broken by means this particular member is restrained here about lz about this bending it is restrained so for in plane bending the software already accounts for the correct unsupported length i hope you are clear with this okay now if we talk about the out of plane bending okay out of plane bending uh, currently i don't have any horizontal force but just to give you an idea if my truss bends in uh, this particular direction let's say this direction okay here in this direction so i'll just change the loading and just show you uh let's say uh, see i'm talking about this direction okay if the force is in this direction so this will be out of plane bending right 
सो नाउ लेट्स कंसिडर आउट ऑफ प्लेन बैंडिंग एंड इमेजिन दी बॉटम कॉर्ड इज ओनली सपोर्टेड दिस पर्टिकुलर बॉटम कॉर्ड इज ओनली सपोर्टेड एट एन जेन मिड पॉइंट ओके टिपिकल केस ऑफ ट्रसेस सो लेट से सी राइट नाउ वी हैव मॉडल ओनली अ सिंगल एलिमेंट बट लेट से ऑन एक्चुअल सीनारियो ऑन साइट इट विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस राइट एंड आई हैव सपोर्ट्स इन दिस डायरेक्शन I have tie members here. Uh, one is at the mid portion and other is somewhere here. Okay, and right now we are talking about the bottom chord. So it is restrained at the ends and at the mid length. Just to give you a more clarity over here. Right? but see in our segment we have model only a single segment right so we need to convey this message to the stat correct so here we need to communicate this restrain condition to the stat so basically uh, the entire bottom chord spans 30 feet since it is restrained at the midpoint the unsupported length for the out of plane bending is 15 feet correct the whole span is 30 feet we have restrain over here at the mid length so since it's restrain at the mid point the unsupported length for out of plane bending is 15 feet so sim in that manner ly will be 15 feet for the bottom chord so that's what i want to make you understand so i'll go to the uh, design parameter part now here i have specified for the bottom chord ly as 15 hope you are getting this right so by defining ly as 15 feet we ensure that stat correctly considers the buckling for out of plane bending right so once the parameters are set run the analysis and design check so here you can do it like this for the different types of structure as well make sure about the restrain condition how your member is behaving in terms of different structural configuration or the support condition and that's how you'll be able to understand all these different parameters like ly and lz so that's why even if i don't specify the lz value by default stat will consider lz default as the member length but ly as i specified it will be considered based on your restrain conditions so ultimately in plane bending the segment length lz is automatically considered by stat and for the out of plane bending define the ly based on the actual restrain condition right so we need to verify unsupported lengths to ensure the accurate the model or to convey our uh, structural configuration to the stat in order to design a particular structure correctly Right so that's all for today if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more such structural engineering tips don't forget to leave your questions in the comment box see you in the next video and always remember don't just learn software learn concepts thank you